Good night, Connie. <sighs> Time to go to bed. And you keep an eye open. We don't want the same thing to happen like last night. Oh, not again! <gasps> Cutie, protect me! Huh? <sighs> Help! Oh, what's happening, Connie? There's a monster under my bed! Seriously! Come on, Connie, it's always the same. Okay, whose turn is it? I stayed yesterday. It's Missy's turn. I have a lot to do tomorrow. I need to sleep. Lori, you go. Okay, coming. Great. Now it's my turn. I won't be able to sleep tonight. Just my luck. It's always the same. The only monstrous thing here is this cupcake. Well, maybe the monster left it? The monster is only part of your imagination. Let's sleep. Thanks, Lori, for staying with me. You're welcome. Go to sleep. <sighs> Connie, this can't continue like this. You'll spend the night alone. But the monster... Relax. What you need to do is count sheep. And do something that you like a lot, like cupcakes. And laugh a lot. Ah! I'll make cupcakes. And if there are a lot of monsters... Connie, a fantasy came. They know how to take the fear away. Seriously? How? With a magical helmet. Wow! A fantasy helmet! Wow! It's not a regular helmet. It's a magical object that puts bravery on whoever wears it. <laughs> hey, Connie, it looks good on you. I see you braver. Yeah, you look like a real fantasy. But it's not real magic, right? No, but look how happy she is. Huh? <laughs> Let's see if I can finally sleep. Otherwise, the pets will do the job. Oh no! Uh, one sheep, two sheep. Ah! Uh, oh. uh, uh, I have to make cupcakes. A hundred sheep, thousand sheep. Ah! Uh, 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 the helmet. You won't get me. What is all the noise? Such a disaster! But what are you doing? With Susu the smart one. And thanks to this little magical helmet, the shadows are gone! We have to tell you something, Cotty. The helmet doesn't have powers. You have huh? defeated your fears alone. Oh. Really? By myself? That means that I'm very brave. And when you're brave, the imaginary monsters disappear. Thanks for believing in me. The biggest 
first joke. Look what I found in the river yesterday. And it's not the first time. They have to be more careful. That's it. Plastic is very bad for the rivers. It can't be possible that they're getting the water dirty. Let's go and teach the babies of the valley a lesson. Um, let's paint the water with colors. Aren't we ever doing this? It's just for a little bit. Let's go up and look at their faces through the spyglass. Okay, but a quick joke. It's gonna be fun. <laughs> Ready for my new invention? The flying stone. Careful! <laughs> no! What did you do, Missy? Nothing. Then why is the water violet? And the house's bubbles are violet. Let's go and see at Pacifier Fountain. Hashtag violet. Hashtag water. <laughs> what did that taste like ice cream? Something is wrong with our world. We had to ask for help from the fantasy. Winged heart. I want to go to the other side. A, a little, little step, step here, here, a little step, step there, and, and the fantasy, fantasy portal will reveal itself. Wow, the Where is everybody? <laughs> Let me see. There is Lala. <laughs> Poor Katie. And look, her face is clueless. <laughs> I love the joke of coloring huh? the water. Fantasies did it. They colored the water. And they're looking at us through the spying glass. Laughing at us. Very lucky. Making fun of us. We'll do the same. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Hello. Connie's making little cakes. Come to the valley. I want some. Hey, save one for me. I can't fly. Where are you going? Cupcakes at Connie's house. Now it's our turn to look. Let's see who had the last laugh. Yeah! Whoa! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> they just fell in the first one. Let's see. I'm sure she's telling. Uh. Orange is my favorite. It goes with the color of my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> it fell on the second trap. Of course. Although I prefer to look like a wild berry. Uh, they caught us. Look, that's enough. You have stained us with color. You have color or water. It's just a joke. The color will go away. It was just to teach you a lesson. The other day, we found a plastic bottle in the river, and that's not right. Our water is important to our world. It needs extra care. This is a responsibility we all share. Well, it was a horrible joke. And we didn't toss that bottle. Well, someone tossed it. Ugh, the bottle again? We said no. I said yes. Hey, that's my bottle. Thanks for finding it. The wind blew it away the other day. By the way, what are you celebrating? What are we celebrating? Oh! The day of the colors. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, sorry. To be honest, we overdid it a little bit. But in the end, the joke was a funny hit. <laughs> Celebrations. 
Your invitation will be accepted. But my butt has been affected. I need a huge favor. Can I borrow your tiara? I really need something spectacular. Please, please. Okay, the tiara you will be <gasps> borrowing. But stop it, this is very annoying. All the babies will be surprised with my look this year. But there is a must. No matter what, the tiara cannot get lost. Do not worry, I will take care oh. of it. <laughs> wow, this is a huge pineapple. Do you like my tropical crown? Don't even think about it. I borrowed it from the fantasies. It's from a special wood. I will look even better than candy. I don't think so. Uh, wow. Can I wear it for a picture? And can I wear it to see if I can guess that? I would like to see if it suits me. No, no, and no. I have to take care of it. It is very valuable. See you tomorrow at my party. It is everyone's party. Rest well, my beautiful tiara. We have to look amazing tomorrow. Mm. <sighs> Woohoo! Today's the day! <laughs> <gasps> oh no! The tiara! No! The tiara was there. It was safe. It is true, Tina. I give you my word. Mm. Without the tiara, the ball does not work. <gasps> Tina cannot rhyme anymore. I do not have powers without the tiara. Who took it? Give it back to me. You were jealous because I had the tiara. Cammy, Tina and I need your help. You were away on a trip, so we're positive it wasn't you. Hey, do not blame <laughs> it on me. I was kidding with the fantasy. Perfect. Every baby from the winged neighborhood is suspicious. Except for <gasps> Patty. Please exit the robbery scene. Who could have done this? Don't look at me. Tina, you will help me. First, we need to carefully check the robbery scene. A pair of glasses, a lace, a charger. Aha! What is this? Candy stuff. Hmm. Now let's use the fingerprint powder. <laughs> I have three suspects. Let's see. We have three babies who had reasons to steal the tiara. And can I wear it to see if I can guess that? You! Since Candy didn't give it to you, you decided to take it. I? I didn't steal it. Then how come your sunglasses are in the robbery scene? Well, yes, I took the tiara, but... I just wanted to try it on. It was hard to open the safe. <laughs> huh? <laughs> and when I tried it on and realized it did not look good on me, I just returned it. Hmm. Then it was Lena. That is why we found your charger there. It wasn't me. When I arrived, the safe was already open. And I just took some pictures for my followers. Oh. <laughs> I left it. So the only baby who could have stolen it is... I would like to see if it suits me. Uh, I already have my pineapple crown. Oh, where? Then how mm. can you explain that oh. this was found at the robbery uh, scene? Huh? Uh, I use it on presents. Anyone can have one of those. Sure. Then how come you are so nervous? No, I didn't. My crown! Ah. Don't run. Let's get the thief. Ah. Ah. I was just running to save my pineapple crown. Nady, the tiara, come here. Now I get it, those pet footprints. Oops, how could I've missed it? I'm sorry, Sasha. You could have never done something like that. It's okay. In the end, it wasn't Candy who gave us a surprise, but her pet did. <laughs> <laughs> Magic tears! Crazy confusion made our day. Thank God in the end, everything was okay.